Hello, this is Priscilla again, and I have one more that I wanted to share with you. It's called Prehistoric Origins. And this was given to me August 19th, uh, just last month. <clears throat> the Lord spoke those words to me, Prehistoric Origins, as he usually gives me the titles. And this is what I heard. Origins are going to be in the news again. The modern day naysayers that mock my word and me will be spouting off fantasy words about earth and man's origins. Just as Darwin took it to court to be able to spout his theory, they will do the same to try and convince mankind that they are nothing more than animals without souls. Just as a certain scientist, Mr. H.A.R., ARI has mocked the existence of soul and origins of my existence and has made ludicrous statements about what they can do with mankind. Will many mock and reap a harvest of judgment in this hour? Um, I don't know if you've heard of him, but he's called the prophet by a certain people in the NWO. And um, he believes they can do with mankind whatever they want and make us into cyborgs. <clears throat> I will tear apart many of the plans that chaos has made in this hour. Now, whether you know it or not, chaos is a spirit, okay? And all those aligned with the Antichrist spirits, he said, you will see the travail of your souls these last three years. In other words, the things that you prayed for and, and um, cried over and, you know, taken to the Lord. And as the new year in the Jewish calendar begins to change, will there be radical changes in the earth, which actually have already begun, but they will significantly escalate at that time, which is at hand. So buckle up your seat belts for the ride of your life. Worship, worship, worship me in the beauty of holiness, for in this hour I'm going to make a great display that will outshine July 4th celebrations or New Year's. Great and marvelous works, great surprises are on the horizon, so I want you to anticipate my wonders and miracles coming. I don't want you to be sad and mournful, all the wicked things going on, unless I put you in travail for a purpose of intercession. I want you to anticipate my goodness and what my glory will be like for you, to be able to wear it rivers of living water are flowing down to earth and will cause a great tsunami of my love to overtake you walk by faith and not by sight beloveds for this is an important time for you great turnarounds are happening and great changes on the horizon which i have spoken through many of my prophets so be in my word to build up your faith and discernment faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god right tune in to the Holy Spirit of life who is the great teacher and he who is wisdom will also walk with you through these challenging days because you will need him at your back constantly to be able to overcome. I am your resource for all things needed in this hour. I abide in the presence of your praises. So put away the darkness with your voice of praise and worship. Sing, dance, rejoice, throw up all the baggage the enemy wants to keep on you. Come away with me in the secret place and let me minister to your soul as you spend time with me. Some of you need to just rest and stop being busy so you can hear the still small voice speaking to you. Put off all the worry and doubts the enemy is tossing at you and take on my rest to your soul. Breathe in the breath of life and loose the cords of pain, sorrow, worry, heaviness, and striving. For I long to breathe into you my resurrection, life, and love, and power earnestly seek me and you will find me for there are many prehistoric beings of wickedness that go way back to chaos from the beginning they are stirring up the waters of affliction and death thinking they have won the great battle which is not yet over but only in its beginning stages and i will end it i will make my stand on the earth and demonstrate my glory to all so that no one will have an excuse for denying me the origins of sin will be wiped out and the wickedness stamped out. The gates of the garden will once again open for those who commune with me. 
for I am with you. I am in you. I am around you. I am behind you. I am in front of you. I am at your side. I breathe into you resurrection life as you praise me. You minstrels and singers, I want you to take your worship to the streets. Do not be afraid or ashamed, for as you play, I will pour out glory on all those around you as well as you, and you will see people healed and delivered without even touching them. There will be times when people will mock and be angry, but trust me that I have your back and I will protect you. Be strong in the power of my might. Know that I will back you up even against violent forces who wish to do you harm. For every worship song, every dancing step to me will be honored by my angels all around you. You have nothing to fear when you obey my commands. So listen for my instructions as you worship. Bring whole families into it. Let children dance and sing and let the teenagers dance and sing and play music unashamedly and watch what I will do. Remember that at the first Pentecost there was the sound. It says in Acts 2.2, 2, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. When you worship and praise me, the angels join in, in all the activities. And as you stay your minds on me, all that I want to do is to be with you. My glory will come down. I will change people. I will heal and deliver. I will comfort the brokenhearted and heal their wounds. I will overcome all that has kept people in bondage to the enemy of your soul. All those in opposition will be terrified into compliance or leave. For I will save witches and warlocks and many who are in opposition to you now. You will be greatly surprised at the shocking miracles I do. So raise your expectations. People will cough out demons. People will bow down and rip off their amulets and rip off their blasphemous shirts because they will be ashamed of their foolishness as they are apprehended by the great grace. Many will bow down before you and know that I have loved you because of how I use you to display my glory. Expect great and marvelous things to happen. Remember the miracles of Moses, Joshua, Daniel, Paul, and Peter, and all the saints of old. Bring them to mind when you're tempted to fear. They all face difficult and impossible situations, which I brought them through. No longer will the world cling to the lies of the enemy as I spread the truth through my mighty company of Gideons. Um, when the Lord said people who cough out demons, uh, I had this experience where I went to a Hispanic Bible study, and um, there was this one guy there who had a son in Mexico, and he was talking about how he was deaf. He was a deaf child and couldn't speak well, so deaf and dumb. And uh, to my right, well, he was right across from me, and then to my right was an older man sitting on um, a, a sort of a, you know, couch, small couch there with someone else. And when I spoke to this young man who had the son that was deaf and told him what he needed to do, because um, the Lord was showing me, and I spoke it out, suddenly the old man coughed out a demon. It smelled really bad. And I knew a demon had come out. And it kind of shocked me. Um, and, but I realized because the Lord had already told me this kind of thing would happen, that that's what was going on. And, um, so the other thing that I, that I've noticed in recent few years is that, um, there are times when I go to some place, like one day I went to the bank and I, I was going to renew my, um, passport and I had to send money from my account and the gal gave me my wrong a wrong my wrong account number because I had two accounts under the business and um, she manifested a demon I realized she got confusion suddenly coming at her and it wasn't until afterwards that the Lord showed me. It was because when light meets darkness, there's a, a power encounter. And sometimes what happens is um, they get, the demons cause all kinds of trouble, you know. 
for the person who has them and um, will manifest. Sometimes you have people that will get actually angry at you for no reason or something like that. So be aware of your surroundings. And um, also, I happened to see something today that I want to share with you. It was on a video by this couple who who is living off grid and um, apparently there's some videos on YouTube showing how there's uh, new scams where if you're at a gas station and you're kind of doing your gas thing and you're not paying attention, that there's been two or three guys come up behind the guy and he grabbed this guy from behind and they um, stole from him and then took off on foot. So be aware of what's going on around you. Don't have your nose in the in the iPhone or 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 uh, you know phone all the time. You know, be aware when you're in public, especially um, of your surroundings. Okay. God bless you guys. And um, I think what I want to do, too, uh, is next time we'll do a prayer thing. Okay. God bless you. Take care.